Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. Today, we're drinking next to a babbling brook. I like it. <laughs> we are deep in the forest, sampling two whiskeys that were gifted to us. He didn't really tell us much about these. Nope. He did imply that maybe they're nice. Maybe a little fancy, maybe maybe possibly a unicorn or two. Oh. We really are not totally sure what we're getting into here. There's a bird that's totally distracting. I know, I'm, I'm looking goodness. at him right now. <laughs> You'd think it was a five sip Friday, but it's Monday. <laughs> but it's Monday. <laughs> Thanks again to Brent, and we're gonna nose these glasses, and then we are going to sip each of these. We're gonna say which one we like. We may take a guess at what in the world they are, but honestly, let's just pick a favorite. Yeah. On to the nose, glass number one. Kind of smells familiar. Like a it's got familiar. it's got a little familiarness to it. A little grassy. Grassy but fruity. Oh wait, there's some sort of herb on this one. Yes, yeah, there's That's some spice. Different. I take that back. This is different than anything I've <laughs> smelled before. I think there's a lot happening here, but I do think that there's Ooh. a little bit of earthiness, a little greenery. It's in green. There. Yeah. yeah, it's not just the setting that we're in. Ooh. It's a little green. All right, let's get out into the nose of glass two. Let's do it. Oh, completely different. Yeah. Wow, big confectioner's sugar, but also spicy, fruity, almost like a like a fake cherry fruit note. I almost got a little licorice on that one. I would totally agree with that. Black or red, what are you getting? I was gonna meld towards black licorice. And I was I was leaning toward red. Ah, oh, crap. It's almost got like a medicinalness to it. Totally agree. I gotta be honest, both of these smell familiar to me. Oh, good. All right. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Glass number one. Cheers. Cheers and cheers. Thanks, Brent. Ooh, she's warm. Woo! Ooh. Oh, she is warm. Mm. I'm not so sure. I really? Think, I think she's spicy. Oh, maybe that's it. Cause I, no, I, she's warm too. I, I think a little warm, but this tastes this like my, rye this, to me, like rye spice. I was gonna say, this is my first of the day, yes. but it is like already I'm getting the Kentucky hug all the way down and it's going like all the way down. It's making my mouth happy. I, I actually don't, don't, I don't hate really your rye guess cause it got a little <laughs> jumpy on the tongue. Jumpy on the tongue. First, first sip of the day and I'm really enjoying this. Ooh, a little bit of strawberry now coming through. Yeah, totally. Ooh. There's oh just a touch of like a perfume, but not an not an obnoxious perfume. Like a fruit spray. Not the stuff inside. that they just like bombard you with at the mall. No, not the gross, yeah. not in a gross way. In a sort of like fake fruit candy way. Wow. I know we're not really it doesn't really matter if we're we're guessing proof or not, but I'm like up in the high 120s on this. Really? Like 127. And I'm thinking like a hundred. Yeah. Wow. It is warm. It is warm, but I think it's there's nice oak on here. I think it's a rye. The spice on here is beautiful. This one's got a touch of that medicine as well, but not in a bad way. I can't nail down that fruit note. It's really nice. It's strawberry, but it's not strawberry. It's candy, it's medicine. I don't know. I will say if it's not a rye, then there's something about little unicorns that make you pretend like it's a rye because the BTAC was obviously not a rye. And oh, the WL Weller. I don't, you keep bringing it up, just keep bringing it up. I'm just, just keep saying, hitting me over the head with it. Maybe this is like, if it's not a ride, the next time you have something like this delicious, you're like, no, no, it's not a ride. <laughs> All right, well, I think we know enough about glass number one. Yep. Let's get on to glass two. Yep. Ooh. Oh, that is a Jolly Rancher. I don't want to say blue raspberry, but it was like. You're right. A blue raspberry Jolly Rancher. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Like one of those old, like the suckers. Oh my what gosh. What are those giant suckers called? The, is it gum inside? Blow pops? Yeah. No, yeah, that's yeah. not what it's called. No, I is think, it? Yeah, I think like it the, was called that. Whatever. It's a like blue it's a sucker candy. <laughs> wow. And red licorice. I get a ton of red licorice on this one, just like I did on the nose. There is medicine here. Yeah, no black licorice for sure. Oh, it does. You're right. It does have, still, I we got that medicinal nose. There is a little bit of that medicinalness on the palate as well. That candiness is going away, but that I'm still standing strong with that uh, raspberry, blueberry. It's totally blue raspberry, but there's a lemon zest, like sort of mm. just on the edge of it. Ooh, wow, that's really good. This one isn't as warm to me, though. Maybe that's because number one took me by surprise. Yeah, maybe I'm crazy, but I think this one drinks oh, warmer. Crap. <laughs> We've been all over the map with our proofs lately, so it's a good yeah. thing we don't have to guess today. I'm gonna go back to glass one real quick. Okay. Curious. I forgot my water, so. 
crook, a crick right there. That's true. That's more than a crick. That's a river. It's a creek. There you go. I'm getting a little bubble gum now. The mouthfeel on this is incredible. I don't know. She's warm. I think you're crazy if I think it's only 100 proof, but... Yeah, I might be completely off on this one. Well, first off, let me say that I think that these are both rye's. Oh. But they both Oh, I didn't could be... get rye on my really? grass, too. I thought the medicine, the eucalyptus, the mint on the back end, I think both of them are rye's, but they could easily be bourbons. I think if they're bourbon, mm. they're a high rye mash bill, and if they're a rye, they're a low rye mash bill. Seems like a... Easy way to go around the circle. Oh, yeah, I did great. I'm gonna try that glass two again because I wasn't thinking about a rye for that one. And I'm gonna try it because I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, oh, it goes to grass on the back end though. This kind of reminds me of when the Chi Town Sampler sent us our first Five Sip Friday, which was a wild turkey. I cannot remember what it was, but I know it was really fancy and we could never find it here yeah, ever. Yeah, that's not something that they sell here, but that was. Cornerstone or Revival or Decades. I don't know. I don't There's know. like a whole series of like really fancy bottles that we don't get here. So I don't know which one it would be. Mm. But if it's the rye, I would not be surprised at all because I'm getting a lot of red licorice on that. I do associate that. That's that's really interesting. I don't know if that flavor profile is the same, but I remember just really enjoying it and I'm really enjoying glass number two. <laughs> it's super good. Oh, super good. Oh no, nope, this Wrong one. glass. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm getting like um a spice, like a spice bomb on this one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a strawberry, cherry, spicy, oaky. They're both, can I say, delicious. These yeah. are fantastic samples. And, I, and I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'm getting, I'm getting like almost like black spices. So like anise or anise, however you say that. Just some of those like almost darker, little pepper, peppery flavors. There might even on be a hint one. of like ginger on this one. Yeah. That I like. Yeah. The fruit on this one and the fact that you called out bubble gum. If I had to guess, I would say maybe a Buffalo Trace. Okay. So the name of the game is which do we like better? Let's make a decision. What do you and think? And I will say that, disclaimer alert, they're both amazing. Mm -hmm. But we do have to pick one. Yeah. And this is a palate choice for sure. And I think I'm going like sweet versus spicy is what I'm guessing the bourbon van is doing. Per usual, split decision. I'm gonna go with glass number two. I feel like there's a little less proof on this one, a little bit more sweetness, which you know I appreciate. And they're both amazing, but this one blew my socks off. Or sandals, because I'm not wearing socks right now. Ooh, Look at you. falling. <laughs> and I'm going glass one. Yep. I also feel like I've chosen the lower proof whiskey. No! I, I think... totally do. This one's got a lot of that sort of fake candy note, which isn't my favorite thing in the world, even I though it is it. very nice. In the end, the mouthfeel and the finish, they they won me over on glass one here, and uh, that's what I'm going with. Guys, are you ready to find out? Because I'm pumped. I can't wait. I'm going to help myself to a little more. I know. I'm jealous. Oh my gosh. This is actually really funny, because I feel like we're not good at this. Okay. Oh. So, 1B, which is the one Phil chose, and not the guess that I made. Okay. Is the Wild Turkey Masters Keep Cornerstone, which is the one I said I thought 2B sounded like. You are kidding me. Yeah. Or oh, this tasted is like. Delicious. Hilarious. What is the proof on this? Uh, 109, way off. We, which you said 100. I said 100, but I was actually thinking it was lower. Wow. Nine years not stated. I completely missed that one. Ah, oh, we're so bad at this. Okay. <laughs> And Tubi. Oh, I forgot about the second glass. Yeah, which was the one that I selected. Van Winkle Family Reserve Rye, 95.6 proof, 13 years. Wow, this one's 95 proof? 95, I can't it's remember. It's got so much flavor, I just, it, it, I figured it couldn't have that much flavor and be that low proof. That's incredible. I know, I said, I don't remember what I said, but like 115 or below. It did not drink hot, but I just assumed that any unicorn would be above 100, to be honest. <laughs> I, well, wait a minute. We got one thing right. They're both rice. Both rice. <laughs> Wait, you don't have anything. Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm not setting these glasses down. I'm so, keeping them in my hands right here. So I will say that I'm pumped because those were ama both amazing. <laughs> I'm a little disheartened because I had the right one, just the wrong glass. I feel like we got a swing and a miss and a swing and a miss. I think it's more of a foul tip. Like you said <laughs> rye. We got one of them technically right, just the wrong one. I mean. I feel so confused, but I still feel so happy because these are delicious. Brent. 
Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brent. This is fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching us drink some unicorns in the woods. I did. If you'd like to see more of our outdoor videos and travel videos, join us on Patreon. Check us out on Instagram at the Bourbon Van for lots of lovely photos. Sometimes we're outside in those too. Sometimes. And from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Brent.